quick story. A girl and a guy met and fall for each other. They both love music, so they decide to work together. And they were pretty good at it. Now on the surface, everything looked perfect. But oh, the stress of the city. So they decided otherwise. They packed up and left for the countryside. And that's where we meet this family, raising their children, growing their own food and their business together on a quest to find a new normal and a new sense of happiness. And if you're looking for the same thing, then join us and we can unpack this thing called life together. Where are my manners? Let me introduce myself. I'm Shamel Olwago, my husband's Amondi Olwago, and together we are Nilochi. And this is ZQuest. Today's talking point is going to be how much technology is too much technology? Well... What do you think? Go on. I always complain about technology regardless. So even if it's good. Is it because you're a Luddite? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> no, it's because, you know what, uh, I'm someone that, um, you know, when technology, um, you know, it, it is surrounding you, when it's surrounding you and it's everywhere. Yeah. Um, and stop really helping you, it's hindering you. Yeah. Yeah. Then I don't like like I can't call it technology like anymore because I think technology is supposed to help you that's what I think I think it should be something that really really help you and when you have too much around you uh, it comes a time where you realise like you know what it's not actually helping me anymore I mean yeah sure there's things that are made easier but you know as an overall you're like mm, well I'm like Mm, not too sure that's really good are technological advances supposed to help you i think uh, yeah i think yeah, you I think, think that it, that should be its sole uh, purpose i think yeah I, I do i don't think it i don't think it should be something where you uh you you actually uh you, what, what else would it be though well a money-making racket well, yeah, if you if you the the actual businessman or woman yeah, behind like it, business then wise, I, then I, then I understand you're making coins out here. Yeah, I guess yeah, you can make a lot of coins, but we're talking about. Uh, I mean, from a consumer point of view, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. as well, well as oh, well. Okay, this this is what it is. Do you know? I was complaining about passwords, um, but maybe um, something like ten years ago now. Yeah. Say, well, it's too many passwords. I mean, they need to come up with something now. And that's actually those passwords uh, were a problem for me because of the technology. See what I mean? Yeah. Uh, because you had new technology, and if you wanted to subscribe to one technology or, or another on, or service, um, you needed a password, credit True. account, etc. Yeah. Then they came up with this um, cloud, not cloud, it's not cloud, but. It, it's like something that remember all your passwords. I don't, I don't remember how you call it, but yeah. but basically, all, and they all, and they have all uh, different names depending on the company. Yeah. And so you don't have to remember your password and even do the, this password. They remember it for you. They remember it for you and you do these suggestions. Yeah, you don't even have to pick a password. Mm. You have to pick a like a really um, secure password. You have this complicated password they are, you know, system pro- yeah they're proposing you and then most of the time you say yeah because your computer will remember it for you and then you don't have to do no effort yeah. however um when this just came out i was like you know what that's cool that's really cool i don't have to remember any password then i was like hang on a minute if this gets hacked then it, it, it seems that it's an easy uh in a way for anybody to, to get your personal stuff and I was like True. This, and, 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 and then you feel like maybe this technology is not so good the idea the ideology behind it is great I love technology the idea the first idea they had when they made it was a great idea it just that uh, it just happened uh, you know uh, there's other issues that haven't been um, you know uh, studied properly all right, so what are you saying that we don't need all technology then? I think it needs. It, I think technology has its limitation anyway, and most of the time is in in regards to safety. So because of that, um, you have to see how far you can take techno- technology itself before it becomes and has as or something that is really uh, 
really uh that's not giving you a great service after all you know so what do you think you could do without then that you don't need what do you think no i'm gonna go as, i'm gonna be as bold as to say what do you believe the human race doesn't need technologically wise um well that's the thing yeah no it's like we created a dependence yeah and, and it's really difficult for people to even see their life without it i bet that's um, true and so if i say something it might be unrealistic now today in this world we'll have to receive everything and one technology depends on another one yeah and i give you an example um oh a smartphone yeah uh at first we're saying that well we had mobile phone you know like it wasn't smartphone and it was just good enough you remember then, that nokia I had i loved uh, right and it was just fine at the time what right? was it called i think it was the 6610 i loved that phone I remember. I swear to you, if that <laughs> phone still worked, I would still have that phone till today. But you see, this is the thing. Uh, for me, I'm just thinking, you know what? Man. We were satisfied with the with mobile. Sna- we were satisfied with snakes. With the, right, with the mobile, yeah? And, and, and the world felt like it was fast enough. As, and as, um, as the world went faster, we then started having smartphone but did you feel left behind when you did not have a camera phone and everyone started to have a camera on their phone was you know there what? a stage where you said i have to get myself this camera I, phone business I, I was old enough to get it myself so i never uh, i never felt left behind but if i was a kid and my parents were like you know you're not getting this type of phone yeah then maybe at the time i would i can understand why i would if especially if everyone has it but um i'm thinking that as far as not, not prior to the mobile phone itself we had uh, if you were out you used to um, use a, a phone box yeah yeah uh pay phone you know and, and and that was it and then if you needed to let someone know you can't couldn't come to an appointment or you you're late yeah then you use that that, that phone box and, and and hopefully you can reach they um they used to have this uh, what what do you call it you know this little black thing and the pages you, the pages yeah and then we why are you trying to act like you're not from the pager time and i'm i'm like the end of the pager time no i'm not i'm not acting like that i'm just saying like you <laughs> forgot what pages was like you Listen, weren't pager I, generation <laughs> I, I did uh, i mean uh, i actually forgot but um and i let you know how quickly technology uh did you have a pager uh did uh yeah i did yeah uh no no i got i don't remember you don't remember if you had a pager hang on i think i had one because when this was out no i did not have one i had the first very first mobile so i'm not that old you see <laughs> what huh what did you say i didn't have the very first mobile what you talking about? Know, that? I didn't have, you talking I didn't about? Have the, I didn't, no, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not seeing the very first. But you know, when the mobile started being commercialized, uh, when I got myself one. Oh, I was old enough to be able to get myself one. Oh, you were? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Lucky but, for some. But I'm just no. But what I'm trying to say, I remember that some of my friends they had these uh, pictures, yeah, and they used they they used it as a means of communicate with with one another. True. Yeah? And, um, and what I'm trying to say is, is there's been a change and we started with this and, mm. and uh, I mean, we had other ways to communicate. We did. It wasn't ideal. And I, I guess loved my house phone. Yeah. I lived for my house phone. Yeah. Like, listen, house phone is two best things in the world. I'll tell you why. Yeah. One, it's a phone. You get to communicate and chat. And two, it's in your yard. You ain't gonna go nowhere. You know what? Um, I didn't really get to use the, the house phone either. Yeah, but your home settings were different, so I can understand why. Yeah, it, no, was, more see, it, was, never, like a, it was never some things I wanted people to call me on. Yeah, of course, yeah, because your so, home settings were different. Yeah. Like, but as soon as the mobile phone came out, I immediately wanted people to change over and call me on my mobile. 
parents yeah, of because course, of course. the picking up of the house phone by the parents was real. But you know what? Um, this basically what I was trying, what, what just to um, you know. To, I, to, I asked to, you. You've went down to, the beaten uh, road. I I'm asked sorry, you no, specifically, <laughs> boldly. <laughs> what are the some technologies? At least one technology. Do you think that human beings don't need anymore? No, but. Uh, let me make my or point. could lift with let, or could live without let, let, let me finish my point my point is we moved on just like in the means of communication even prior internet we really moved on and and very fast very quickly and today in order to even have uh, honestly said well we don't need that you yeah. would have to come back to remember the, the way things were when we didn't have that so before you had the mobile phone what were we doing then half fast life uh, half, uh, half, half fast, fast was life, life was life exactly and, yeah and but, this, uh, and, but you and, don't and, have and, to and, pick and, and, you don't have to pick communication technology you can pick any other technology no, you one, want no it was just one example but i'm saying is most more in most of the time you can't it's difficult that's why it's difficult to 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 do without the technology because you would be 0.01 percent the 0.01 percent who dies without today because majority of people are socialized with it and are using it True. and and then and, and, and to say because honestly all right for me i uh, like to believe mm. that now i uh, won't buy a, a smartphone again for many reasons Good luck with that one, though. Exactly. Well, you see, you see, but you just proving my point. And what I'm trying to say is that. However, no, I know what you're saying, and that does apply to some stuff. But I've, I have an idea of what I would say. But I just wanted to get what you thought the human race could do do away with technologically worse. Mm-hmm. Microwaves. So why do you? You're a stealer at this point. Yeah, I know you wanted to say that. Of course, I was going to say <laughs> microwaves. Oh, well, how does that make me a stealer? Because who's out here really repping these microwave streets? I mean, we can be out. We can really do without it. Yeah, we can. Uh, yeah, we can. Definitely. Life will go on. We'll still cook food. Yeah. Um. What else then? Mmm. Oh, uh, I tell you, uh, petrol cars. Yeah, we could do with that. We could like, do away with petrol cars. We definitely cars. can. You know, get rid of them. We can. Because. Uh, if you actually weigh up, that's what I'm just saying. That's what I was saying. Because when no, it comes, the when it comes thing is, the, the transition, the transitioning in, in, in order to do that is going to be way more detrimental than the transitioning of nobody getting a microwave anymore. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're saying. Getting a microwave, not having a microwave isn't going to cost you more money. No, it's not. It not having not a petrol really. car is going to cost you more money. That's the way they've set it up so that they can keep that petrol car game going. Yeah, that's true. But the microwave people are sleeping right now. It's the perfect time to let them go. Yeah. If you don't buy a microwave, it's not going to make your life more expensive. There is not a, a, a more expensive alternative that you haven't already got. It's not like people who have microwaves only have microwaves. Most oh. people who have microwaves already have ovens. Uh, you know, I'm, have you I, ever I, met I, someone who just gone and just yeah. just had a microwave? No, no, I, I haven't. But microwave is like an but addition. I'm really, curious, I'm really curious, you know, to know uh, how often they use people use their microwave versus their their oven. Really. I would reckon that people would use their microwave more than they use their oven. Well, it's just that you yeah. know we are. Why is it possible? Yeah. We're non-having microwave people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've course, never yeah. bought a microwave. No. I don't think we ever will. Well, we don't believe in it. But this is my point. There's things that honestly, I'm using some technology. I don't. It's really, not really that I don't we don't. Really, be- I know. I don't. Well, really you know believe what? I it. guess it's a fact. Don't, I don't believe in I, how I, it works. I, I, I don't well, believe, it's not. Don't believe. I believe in how it works, and that's the probably the no, issue. Yeah, but we don't. Believe I'm like radiation. That, that, that technology. But why? We don't believe that technology is good, and then um, no. and then the quality of the food that comes out. 
uh, of no. that microwave is is actually good, um, and and um, but then this is the same thing with smartphone. There's a lot of issues at the moment, and I know it's not in the interest of of of, of some big companies to to you know to say you know what well, we don't know the long term effects of the, the the mobile phone. Yeah, of course it's not, and you know long term effects. Um, it's. It's not going to be in one or two years. It's going yeah. to be probably in 20, 25 years from, from, from now. Um, but So then here's but, another question uh, for you then. But that's my point with technology. When technology, where there's, there's, a, there's a time where technology is not so good. And, and you can see it. We can see it. Everyone can see it. But it's in your life so much. It's almost imprinted in your life that you well, can not people felt the same it. way about the locomotion. Yeah. People felt the same way about steam trains. No, how, how is that? Because they were like, how in the hell are we going to get from Alabama to Mississippi or from, you know, Guernsey to London without this steam train? There is no other alternative. Until people said, no, you see, guess what? We're going to have to make an alternative. But no, but, they, but that's the problem. But you have yeah. to put throwing out the old on the table. You, you know what it is? It's, it's this idea that you can't revert back to what it used to, to be, what, what things used to be. Some olden day things are good. Some are good, some are bad. And, and, and it it's wasn't all trash. Quite a, you see what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. It wasn't all trash. It's not like we were living our lives back then. It's like, wow, if only we could do this. Wow, we're being held back. Yeah, but you take you take technologies itself. Yeah. Uh, when you when you just said about the the, the steam trains. Yeah. Uh, saying, oh well, um, then let's go with something better. It was better in the sense that more efficient, but better for your health for safety not necessarily you see what i mean i understand that but uh, for for uh, general public's health yeah because the amount of emissions that the coal used to put out was just ridiculous back then yeah it, yeah, yeah absolutely so yeah the e- electricity was a cleaner way now but, the way but, you generate then, the electricity people, yeah people was didn't really realized because at the time oh, of, they did. of steam train um we d- d- the the, the the level of pollution wasn't as high as it is today. Oh, I argue that. No, it wasn't. Not now. It, look, oh, come on, with the they planes. had listen the, no, no, in, no, in London, no, especially no. in England, especially like around the times of Churchill, they had the black fog, and I'm telling you right now, nobody could see shit for days. Yeah, but they didn't know what it was. They didn't know how it came. They didn't know what happened. But the but, bottom but line is, now true. we know more. It was purely, it was purely caused by the use of coal and the use of um, stoves back then. Yeah. And most of the stoves were run by either wood or coal. Mm. And that once they got rid of those things, mm-hmm. the air cleared up. Yeah, I, I there is a direct link to that. I no, just they, they didn't no. really. What type of measurements did they have back then to measure the? measure those things no but you can you can uh, see the effects on the planets right now right now, now. I'm not but they saying, weren't even recording I, 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 that back I'm then I'm not saying it was in the beginning because uh, of the, oh, the, the, because of the industrial revolution so of course it was the, the, the onset of what we know today yeah but um, but but to go to, to come back to to the techno, to the problem of too, too much technology surrounding us yeah um, and uh, there is a problem there is there is um there's a, um, Do you think we've become dumb to just... It, okay, I guess dumb is just... It's not explanatory enough. Do you think that we have become so dependent on these technologies that we have lost our critical thinking muscle? I, I think so. I think, you know what? We have become more tolerant to madness we know that there is definitely a magnetic ma- sorry magnetic field yeah issues when it comes down to a lot of uh, electronics goods yeah uh, when you have too many in your in your house and technologies like wi-fi bluetooth compounds with 
3G, 4G, yeah, and eventually 5G. Um, mm. They they is issues, but we trust um, certain people just do you think it's status, trust because of the status? No, the majority. Some people don't, but we um. I can't explain that properly. Uh, well, we hear that it's been validated as safe because they think the effects of this, uh, if they refer themselves like to this 3G, 4G and 5G, well, we've been having the 3G for now X amount of years and nothing really happened. Well, there is no proven relations between illness that we know and the 3G. So we therefore uh, think that this technology is safe. Mm-hmm. That's, how, that's how they think. Mm. And us, the public, um, the one that thinks that uh, there's not enough evidence to validate a, a technology as safe, yeah. is considered as um, a conspiracy theorist. You know, yeah, and and so it means that globally as a society, we have accept that we have a tolerance for uh, unsafe technology, as long as it doesn't kill you right now, and it doesn't, it's not obvious, yeah. and then that light. So, you get would you then live in a connected house? No, because I wouldn't feel safe in it. Not fully connected. I will want to have. Uh, I, I'll have to. It depends what it is, and and not. Too I'm much. talking I'm not like gonna, full blown connected. No, 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 I would absolutely not. Absolutely. Why not. is that a matter of privacy? Is it a matter of your physical security? Yeah, is it, it a matter? Uh, of what is it? Um, yeah, physical privacy. Oh, let me tell you why. Because uh, for me, privacy. It's a part of your safety. If someone can get into your intimacy uh, and, and, and can can manipulate you in any way, shape or form, yeah. then all of a sudden you're not so safe. Okay? True, true that. Then, because you don't know how you can react to that. Okay? And physically, we know that for a fact, some hospital have been controlled by some hackers yeah and 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 the health uh, for ransom uh, and, it's, and we know that yeah. it's possible so if everything is connected then all of a sudden someone from anywhere can literally mm. if they're good enough you know control you and decide how safe you're going to be on that alone for me I'm not comfort- comfortable with that that's where you see that that's really excessive technology to me but what about the good side of it what about like say you're an old person and you you don't have any more family left or you know you're not close to your family for whatever reason you found yourself alone and a connected house is that you know outreach to the rest of the world that you have it's like you know you've got one of those buzzer things so if you drop down you know someone's got to be round in as soon as possible uh, uh, yeah. or you know you've got Alexa so that you can still play your old tunes and or you've got the telly on and then your telly knows what time that you go to bed so it switches off for you or you know different t- p- pieces of technology you know you've got your Fitbit so that you make sure you do your steps and <laughs> it's the truth <laughs> hey no I understand you, do, do, do you know what you know, maybe your spouse has already passed away. You never had a spouse and you just, you out here alone in these, in these geriatric streets and Do you, know, you, you go for the connected like, life. Like I said, I'm not against technology, mm. but too much. It's too much. And, and it's possible that in some cases, uh, too much technology uh, or the habit attached to technology being too excessive uh, promote certain uh, c- certain behaviors. Um, do you, do I, I, you I, see? Like, like I give you an example because you talk about uh, isolated or uh, el- elderly people. Then maybe some uh, families, some family members, 
that are supposed to be playing their role when it comes down to um, you know uh, keeping company to 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 the elderly family member may not do so because they will say you know what at the end of the day I don't have to go down there because uh, my dad or my mom they they go with us technology and, and they can they, they're not alone and and then, but I don't think you think so it can it can listen people, there ain't a wi fi setting that is going to keep me away from my parents if I want to if, if I'm close to them and I want to see them if no but that's exactly that if you want like to see if them. you were going to be the type but, of person who was going to say I, I, I'm not going visit you weren't gonna visit anyway yeah but you wouldn't have excuses you see what yeah, I mean? you'll have an out but they'll find an out regardless trust me like yeah that's true the, uh, that's true but i'm just saying i'm just saying that sometimes it can um too much technology can promote certain behaviors i'm trying to say oh i definitely are, think so but are unexpected but then that, look at the look at the good have, side of it though yeah look at the good side is it not true that you know technologies helps us tremendously be able to do things that we couldn't even dream of doing before uh, absolutely this is not why I'm, I'm disputing I'm disputing too much is, is it is it true that that there is too much technology and I think there is in some cases there is because for certain day, things for certain definitely do you and think then, do you, then, how look, do you feel about technology in do, the educational system this is the thing um as much like okay if you take the educational system and it's really funny because for how much technology technology you have um in the world some of the schools are so underfunded mm. that it can't really get much technology within this those schools anyway yeah and and it's like a bit of like the opposite or what technology is supposed to do once one, some people can't afford certain technology basic technologies yeah and what i'm trying to say is when technology doesn't help it's not here to help people and it's solely here to make money then you then you've got a problem on your do hands. you think that it's it's purposes should be more for you know trying to create a level playing ground uh, yeah definitely because um because I think because even the the internet itself uh, that's what happened however there's always the attempt some companies are making in order to dominate well then isn't that just human nature at, reflecting at itself through technology yeah, and I think when humans have too much technology around them it's they're going to bend it to their will yeah it's not necessarily going to be that beneficial in that way you know yeah you got a point now now i'm just saying that yes it's true there is things that technology is doing and 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 can can uh, benefit a lot of people and a lot of people wouldn't be able to do what they're doing today if it wasn't for that technology and then once you're using that many and it's not too much yeah and it's beneficial to, to to the person then then yeah there's no problem with that yeah but, but there is a thing where there is too much technologies true i think so well but it it's um pinch of salt with that though because i really enjoy the video phone yeah and the reason i enjoy it is because back in the day i used to watch star trek okay and that's because yeah. my dad's a trekkie okay yeah Watching Star Trek, I was thinking, okay, yeah, beam me up, Scotty. That's not going to bloody happen. Yeah. But I'm here for the ride of the dramatics of it all. Yeah. But they've been had video phones. Yeah. Like video yeah. phones. Remember, it used to like. Uh, remember, it used to come up on this on on the main. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah, windscreen. I, I remember, yeah. Of of the ship, and then it used to be like, wow. You know what? You ain't got to give me that beam me up, Scotty. But if I get that video phone, we're on to something. Yeah. Um, and my dad was like, no, what you don't understand is this is all technology that exists, but they haven't put it out to the public yet. And I was like, OK, well, when they're going to come through with that? And they came through. Yeah. I want to give that up right now. 
No. Because but this I is can the- see, I can see, especially for for people communicating with one another, families who are far away from one another, and and now with the whole entire pandemic, you can see how much more helpful it has been to be able to stay connected with people. It's true. I don't think it's a technology that you have to get rid of. I think uh, uh, I think some technologies are good. But all right, the reason why I was talking about a smartphone, because let's face it, you can do the same thing. You can communicate with people and people that you love someone, you, you love one. Yeah. Um, through um, through a webcam. Yeah. You, you, you can, you, you don't have, you don't need a smartphone. Yeah. But for me, the smartphone, is, it's how it's built in the first place. And what uh, what technology they need to use in order for you to be able what to what the sustainability the, of it the sustainability and, and and the misery it's created in order to build in the first place yeah and, and knowing knowing that I'm still hesitating see what I'm trying to say that's one technology has gone too far it's gone too far when I'm still it's hesitating when it, you're still hesitating to lock it off to, to lock it off when I know a, a, a five or seven year old kid is out there in the mine trying to extract whatever minerals yeah. you need to build this this actual uh, smartphone and it's like and, the blood and, diamond and, and, of exactly, technology and, exactly and then that kid will not Unfortunately. ever go to school most likely will never go to school yeah never get, and it will in working this mines until you know it's his body can't take it no more and and, and 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 that's why some technology got me really thinking about what we're really doing here and how much um how much advancement I'm truly getting from that smartphone. Is it that it's is it that amazing? If we have to like you know, is go it that, that worth f- it? if we have to take that many steps back to take that many steps forward technologically exactly. is it worth it? Because we're promoting some sort of slavery here. Oh yeah, uh, and for me, I'm just like, is that really definitely slave what labor. technology is supposed to, to to be? For one man to 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 feel that he can listen his music, you know, with no effort, or watch his movie with no much. Do effort. you think that people will and become it, conscious enough to actually follow through with giving that? I think people are waking up at the moment. Uh, How uh, long can you see people? Baby, actually able to implement that. You know what? Um, all right, maybe three years ago, I would have said you know, it's going to take twenty years, twenty-five years. <clears throat> Sorry, but now after COVID, honestly, anything is possible, and True. rapidly, really quickly. True. So I think that what happens sometimes you got events. And, and those events create uh, a shift in people. Yeah. And I think people like, oh, like the fires. Uh, yeah. What do you and, think uh, the shift has been towards technology, though, since the, uh, the, 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 the lockdown and the pandemic and everything? Worldwide. Um, I think people have realised that uh, some technology are not for you to take, to, to, to take for granted like you say the video the, the, the video calls yeah because it became very apparent that you need it yeah in some situations and maybe it's not so great to have to revert back however I think um, partly um, it showed people that some technology can't be used uh, what as, technology um, well you've got uh, alright You've got some businesses that couldn't uh, run the business, you know what I mean? Because um, they had the businesses that already advanced with the technology, they couldn't work at the time because everybody was on lockdown. So it, it doesn't matter what technology you have sometimes, you know, if Mother Nature have decided otherwise, yeah. you're not going to be able to do nothing about it. And I think it shows people that. You know, perhaps it's true, not. but I was thinking about it from more of a mental state of view because there are now places um, where you can go and get digital detoxes. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Places, yeah, so. retreats, resorts that you can go to, and you don't have to 
um, have any connection to technology whatsoever. Like yeah. everything yeah. is yeah. like analog. I've You've got a normal spaces. clock on the wall. You have, you know, um, no phones, no tablets, no access to the internet. You are just yeah. living your full, yeah. you know, but 1990s life but you, you know you because you asked me the questions about uh during covid19 i think that if you were to go back and ask people would you rather uh meet your family member physically mm-hmm. or talk to them over that uh video call they will pick you know uh, the video call no i want during the covid19 no they, no they, during they, they, the they, yeah, yeah they quickly changed However, their minds Uh, if they're busy before that if they're busy and you know, I don't mind to meet my family member but you know what let me call them you know it's better it's better because look I've got stuff to do so you yeah. would have have some answers like this but I think people have realized that you know maybe we need to receive a few things actually uh, I've got um, a question for you because um, uh, for me when when it comes to um, to the technology yeah uh, yeah I do feel overwhelmed sometimes mm-hmm um and um and 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 i feel that um what what it's um what what becomes quickly uh what overwhelmed me a, a lot uh lately uh, yeah. when it comes to technology it's um the newness of it constantly a new thing coming out yeah and you don't do you feel that because of that you don't get to truly experience even what the, te- the technology can bring you because you know today we've got this phone and then tomorrow we've got another one and then you know tomorrow meaning in six months you're gonna get a new release or yeah another release and extra extra and that's and that goes for a lot of technologies luckily i'm the type of person to say to myself can i how much can I do on this phone Mm -hmm. whereas I won't have to buy a new one for the next two, three, four or five years. Yeah. I just want to make sure that it's it's got enough technology to carry me over the trends. But uh, uh, do you care or you don't really care if a new uh, technology uh, uh, arrives on the market The next technology I'll care about what you thought was new? See the net now. Nah, now nah, I don't mind that because I'm okay with what's new, and usually they drip feed you anyway. Yeah, but that's the what I'm talking about. Do you feel that, and then you 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 experience that's supposed to be great when you buy something new. It's kind of uh, not so great anymore because you you now you, you you're thinking you know maybe uh, not, let me not buy this. Do you think that is is actually a problem or? you're not really uh, I'm a little bit desensitized to having that kind of you know um, rush when I buy technology now I'm well aware that this may be absolutely useless within the next two years whenever I buy technology and, and because of that my excitement attached to it has absolutely I'm impartial I'm like so- as long as it works when I get home and does what I need it to do for the duration of this year, then I'm good. Yeah. I do not get excited about it the way I used to because it, the turnover is so, the turnover is just so fast. So, so even if technology doesn't move on, the way they've made certain things is it might not last no, you've got anyway. To, yeah, you've got to move Some on with it. software would update and then your whole entire machine is rendered obsolete. But, So I'm just like, I'm just not connected. But don't you think that it's actually going against you buying a new technology that's supposed to actually make you feel that, okay, I'll spend that much money and you know what, that's been great. It's just been a great piece of technology. And then a technology shouldn't uh, run itself, render, sorry, render itself useless. It shouldn't, but they do all the time. And, and that's that's why I don't even it's like I'd bo- rather buy a plant like for Are real bothered about it? No, I'm unbothered because of the fact that I saw this happening from when I was a kid like the rate of new things do you remember like the thing is when I first got a phone I was 
smack bang in the middle of being a teenager just that that prime age where it's like okay i need to get i need to get onto this but then for the life of me i could not keep up yeah and i i had friends who could yeah it was then, you know, it was then the brick and then it was the banana and then it was the, you know, the, the flip phone and then it was, and it's always something. And it personally felt like it was a new thing every month. All right. I was already done back then. Okay, yeah. So I haven't seen a decline in that overturn. Like I haven't seen a decline or a speed or, or a slowing down in the turnover that they're doing in the in the in the I haven't seen a so, slowdown. So can we? So I'm just I already stepped off of that train. So can we agree that we're going too fast when he, in regards to technology? Can we speak in like? You know what? Sometimes you're traveling so fast that you're not fast enough, and I know that seems like an oxymoron, but. Can't we just skip to the bit where we're only making technology that is actually going to be thought about with all of its consequences? Yeah, well... Can yeah. we have a think about this? I think right now we, we, we in a, we're in a phase where uh, technology are made to beat the f- the predecessor previous one, the previous but technology, not to be but not to to uh no, necessarily because... um better the experience uh i think there was a time it was that it was and, yeah and, and, and then it's changed now, and now it's yeah and, like... and i've found that most popular te- parts most popular pieces of technology now are pieces that truly enhance the experience of the user yeah like that's why i believe like um the beats by dre did so well yeah true yeah it absolutely. genuinely enhanced and improved the experience of the user but some of these updates they'd be doing with just like something like a tv or just you know arbitrary things now yeah is that it's not worth you buying it every month to see you got a new one no of course but i don't think people every month buy a new tv anyway but i, I, I understand I understood what you 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 meant but i think though something that's probably true is every two years people are buying a new tv some two people years? yeah some people Yo. every two years are buying a new tv i can't get with that uh, i think that you yeah, and it's not that, a money I can thing see people doing this it's not a money thing it's a just like i don't care well, that, that much for that, that technology to say to, update it that leads me to another question you know do you think that uh you can be addicted to technology yeah itself any yeah. kind of technology yeah apple brands number one it's got all of the it's got all of the technology cats out there yeah. Yeah. just straight i mean i mean it's a bit of an obvious question but the reason why i'm asking this question is because i don't hear people saying i'm going to rehab because i'm addicted to technology i don't hear this type of thing yeah you don't hear it but it's happening do you think there's rehabs for it that what else is a digital detox retreat because i i I feel that when when you talk about digital detox and the people that actually said digital detox yeah perhaps they 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 set it for uh, people like like that but i feel that um it's for people that have enough not necessarily that are are it's for both addicted to it it's for both yeah so so you think it's, it's for both yeah. it's like if everybody had to drink alcohol because there was no way around it and that was the thing to do and there was no like no other option there's so, going to be some people who go there because they're like i feel like i'm drinking too much and there's going to be some people there like i'm drinking too much and it's ruining my life yeah so yeah, yeah. these digital retreats are that they don't want to call it rehab because you know it's not a great selling point but a digital retreat or a resort makes it feel like it's your choice but, but truth be told but some we, people need to be sent there are we heading there though we are all where, heading there where you're going to have a rehab for uh yes you are i think addictions. of course you're gonna because of course I you mean, are i've had to i've had to detox myself and i think that if you're it, for your mental health if you're thinking about you know there's only a small list you have to ask yourself and you'll quickly come to the conclusion as to whether or not you are addicted to using something true. or if it's enhancing your life in a way that it's 
it's it's permeated through everything you do and you're not and you're you're now living for that thing instead of that thing being an enhancement on your life mm-hmm. yeah you see what i'm saying mm, yeah. that's why i pulled back from social media because i was like what in the hell is going on here yeah because i felt like i had a part-time job do you know why when it comes when it comes on to social media i think more than the technology um had, i find it really hard to see that as a uh, technology i feel that it's a means of communication I, I feel, and I feel, it is exactly what it says no, it is the, the internet, it's a it, social media, media. Yeah. it uh, is a social platform that allows people to socialize as they share media yeah. media being definitely but i'm just saying I think all it's, it's more of an accessory to access certain technology or use certain te- technology or you think so s- yeah in the no p- i just mm-hmm. think that the way that you're going to be able to display the different formats of media you're going to need technology for that so by default yeah, you've got instagram it's an acc- accessories like, I mean, but i don't look, think look, look it, it in itself is not an no, accessory no, look what we're doing i mean we're running a podcast and then because of the way now things are we then uh, have all have to 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 uh, whether buy or subscribe to all sorts of new technology or newish technology yeah technologies and 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 uh, and that's why i think that social media is an accessory to technologies to new technologies and it's been it is it's i been think said that way but what i'm trying to say about social media is that I don't um, think it's a necessary. I just think it's born uh, from technology, but I don't think it's a necessary. I think they've made it so that the technology that we have is accessorizes the social media. Yeah, so so as that, you, yeah. the social media develops and asks for more things. So yeah. in turn, do we ask for more technology? Because if you check it for what it is, if you're somebody, say, if you're a content creator and you don't have a phone with a camera on it, people are going to look at you like what what are you doing it's it's anti that yeah. it's anti the the, the whole entire it's system a, of it all it's a vector to technology it's actually one really uh, uh, I mean the amount of technology has been sold it, to, just to be able to produce content on social it media it took me a enormous. while to understand what it was but when I looked at it as a concept mm. Of technology, yeah. like oh, because remember when it first came out, it was like like Twitter. I remember when Twitter yeah. first came out. I think it was like Diddy talking about it, and I was like, "What is this thing he is talking about?" And then when I went online and saw what it was, yeah, my immediate reaction was no, that's crazy. Like I remember, I remember the day I was like, "No, that's crazy. Why would I want to make my texts public?" Yeah, I guess you took it literally. Because I did. I took it literally and I thought to myself, like, I looked at it as a piece of technology. Like, technologically, what does it do? It allows you to upload your SMSs and make them public to a public dashboard. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that sounds like a bad idea. Yeah. Well, that that was uh, what was... uh, the the ideal the ideal sorry the ideology behind the ideology it, behind didn't even the, sit right with the, me because I was like it. that but is room fa- factually, for error right there. Actually, people do not. Um, they, 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 surely, people aren't gonna you know use the what they would. Well, maybe they would, but you know, I don't think in, 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 you should have. How much some, people have someone, Twitter got in trouble? What I'm trying to say is, I don't think you should be someone that is going to. Uh, if if I say if I want to text you, uh, send you an SMS. Uh, I mean, for you to say, okay, uh, all now from now on, all the SMS I'm going to send to people that I know, I'm actually gonna, uh, you know double that on, on, on Twitter I, I, I think that's crazy but you know to, to think like that in the ideology maybe was that originally but I think now Twitter is just it's just a communication platform so and, and, and what a lot of people have understood also that it, it, what they put on Twitter 
has to be thought about. It's just that people get caught up in it. And then, you know what happened when you get caught up in things, you say things you shouldn't say. Yeah. Text things you shouldn't text. I mean, you know. Yeah. So So what do you think that the answer is? What do you think the solution is? Do you think we need to rally it all down? Do you think we all have to have a sit down and talk about which ones we could do without and which ones we need? Well, this this is the thing. It's often, uh, you know, I'm thinking, can you really escape it? Can you really? No. Uh, and, and should you try to escape it, or well, should, no? Or should you try to to manage it? I think that we need to get with managing it, because it, escaping it now makes you cut yourself out of society to the point where you can no longer communicate with a majority of companies, people, or situations like online applications that's that would be a thing of the past for you of course um a whole load of stuff would be a thing of the past emails would be a thing of the past all of that you wouldn't have any of that if those things you were going to do away with so i don't really think that that is doable but definitely having a filtering your time at the time you spend on your phone the time you spend microwaving food instead of putting it in the oven or warming it up on the stove it's it's about where you're giving your energies what technology you're giving your energies to and is it really giving you back well a better quality of life or does it give you anxiety um, because i got straight i used to be on instagram and i got straight anxiety and i've been off for two years and i feel great yeah in some in some cases yes i do believe that is the source of a lot of anxiety uh for me for myself but uh, also for um i'm sure for other people the only thing is that i don't really appreciate is the fact that i can understand that each platform and i'm talking about more about social media so i can understand that each pl- platform uh have to uh, sell yeah uh, things in their interest so that, but then that, how that, do you that, think that, make, that makes sense but what i'm trying to say is that it's 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 become wrong when the math uh, the aftermath of, of, of those type of uh, campaigns yeah. makes everyone feel that if they don't do it, they will ruin their life. They won't go nowhere. They won't get nowhere. They need to be a part of it. Yeah. And it's not necessarily true. And it's not just be a part of it. It's part of it um, to a certain degree. Uh, degree, like extent. So you need to be every day on it or, you know, you put on the impression that if you don't say... Uh, post every day, then nothing's go- nothing good's gonna uh, happen to you. Uh, you don't don't hope to uh, to, to hey, make it. Once and, you're and, in and, the and, matrix, you got to abide by the matrix rules, yeah. isn't it? So I believe I believe that you've got to wear up. You know, yes, of course you have to follow what some sometimes some algorithm uh, uh, set know, for you. Yeah, you know, set for you. But at the same times, it still have to be sustainable. And I think like every technology. Uh, what scared me the most is the lack of sustainability because yeah. I'm like we're all going we're all into those technology and we don't even know the future or how the future is going to look because of those technology true you know it's like um, cars um, electric cars so yes it's good to have an electric cars but now a car that drive for you yeah I can see the appeal in this however yeah would you trust it? It depends if I needed it. Imagine people coming back home from the hospital. Imagine people, women who don't have to get into a car with strange men or men not needing to get into the car exactly. with two strange women so or is, whatever it be. Exactly, there is good sides. There are definitely but upsides. Not, not the bad sides is that well, then we have to kind mad, of if you're mad attention and you know some women are running in cars by themselves and you have the ability to hack those cars or find someone who can do it for you and get them to be uh, stranded somewhere. Yeah. You see what I mean? Of like, course, there's, like there's, there's two sides to everything. A, 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 exactly. And I feel that... I can two still sides see the easier. advantage, yeah. but then I think everything has to be regulated and they're not. It, right. And I think that's what it is. And I think but, the first regulator or ourselves in our own lives, it's like you're going to have to gauge when too much is too much. True. And but how do, how do the listeners feel? Do you guys feel like it needs to be regulated do you think that that is our responsibility do you feel like there is too much technology or do you feel overwhelmed by some of it 
are there some technologies you've just decided that you're going to turn your back on like you who you just you've turned your back on learning how phones work no I didn't please <laughs> I set up your phones no, I, I do all of that and all you do is know how to f- send a call or send a text outside of that what um, I watch few uh, you've chosen uh, I, I what it is you're going to give your attention to that's, that's, that's it. it that's it you don't really you're not really trying to learn that technology and no, I guess you've got to choose but I'm, that's what I was trying to ask so you know in the comment section you know we'll start up that spark up that conversation and uh, we'll talk about just tell us do you think it's too much technology do you think there's just the right amount for everybody but we've got to pick our individual personalized choices of it like what's good um now it's time for a would you rather are you gonna do this today or am i um have you got one for technology uh, no i don't have one for technology no all right i've got one then you've got one oh go go ahead all right so would you rather yeah yeah go on go ahead have Google leak your all your histo- history Google searches or all of your pictures, personal pictures that are on the cloud I to public? Oh, I say pictures. Um, Why? Because I don't really take any... Uh, compromising pictures yeah anyhow that's not really what i do mm-hmm. I, I hope i've never been that situations anyway yeah um no i don't so that's okay yeah it's not ideal but i can live with it you can live with it you can't live with them seeing your google search um what are you searching it's on google too much information about uh, about me in the sense you think someone will be able to profile you oh absolutely so you'd rather them see your, your your family pictures and stuff. Yeah, it's family. So what, what, how can you profile someone off of picture? It's a bit harder. I feel. Even though it's visual, it's a bit harder. But you, this is amazing. The data you can get on someone's search and how you can even, yeah, you, you, you can literally uh, manipulate them. Yeah. I mean, look, look at how much or data skew, worth Or skew today. people's views on them. Absolutely. Yeah. Straight up. You, you, you can I said that I said the same thing. Oh, okay, okay. I was like, leak those family pictures. <laughs> Absolutely. Because I ain't out here really trying to take certain... Fo- I don't trust the phone enough to do that anyway. No, absolutely. No, no, no. Absolutely not. Um, yeah. So, what would you guys pick? Would you pick a photo leak or search history leak? And um, answer us with your comments. So... Looking forward. I'm looking forward to see uh, those comments and those answers. You know. Of course. Really. Well, until next time, take care of yourselves, your minds and your spirits. And we'll see you then. Bye. See you next time. Ciao.